Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if your intention today was to hop on the internet, click a video, and lose a few brain cells, well, you found yourself in the right place. <laughs> Alright guys, I couldn't think of an appropriate intro, so here, we're just gonna we're just gonna freestyle it. Chat GPT, can you give me three distinct words that do not relate to one another whatsoever? Celestial, filament, and guacamole. Alright. He's close. I can sense it. Yo, dude, are you sure this is the way? Yeah, man, just keep going. I, we're almost there. He can't even begin to comprehend his potential. All right, we're here. You know what the plan is, right? Yeah, man, I got you. <laughs> Hurry, dude, we don't have time. <laughs> I see you arrived safely. Do you have the goods? Got him right here. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, don't get too excited. I got three more. Oh my. Yo, what up, Professor Rowan? Hey, Alt. Before we, um, uh, uh, start, uh, can you, uh, are you okay? <laughs> uh, uh, press the balls on your screen. No? <laughs> please, press my balls. Please, uh, um, please. Okay. Oh. Not right. Mmm, oh good heavens. I believe I just pokey busted. Okay. You already know who I'm picking. Because I'm so rich and cultured, I've decided this time I will name myself after the most successful movie sequel of all time. Hey there, alternative. Oh, hey Rowan, what's up? You're back. Uh, did you end up changing your pants or? No, I prefer my pants to be wet and soggy. All right, that's a little weird. Just like your mom was last night. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember this guy's name? I was actually trying to figure out what I wanted to name him. I thought he was named Barry. No? Yeah, no, his name's Barry but I want to think of like a funny Bury my balls in your mouth you fat fucking rip. and just like every good Pokemon game we begin our adventure inside of our bedroom what is up my slime let us go acquire some poke the mons yeah um what that guy said once again because I'm professional I gotta adjust my settings and choose the appropriate frame now I like this one because it's perfectly representative of the fact that I am always bricked up one sec though I gotta check in with the homie to see if he's ready yo you almost ready to head out yes my good friend but first First, let me say goodbye to daddy. Now, before we can get our first Pokemon, we have to get through this grass to get to the next town. However, that is a little troubling. My friend does raise a good point though, and that is, how is a wild Pokemon going to battle you if you simply just don't let it battle you? Oh my dear Lord, I must assist these unaccompanied miners. Yes, bruv, I would like a poke of the mon, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. Sorry for being late. I was quite eepy, so I took a sleepy. It is so good to meet you. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is this is the squad. Come on, I'm a chimchar guy. I will select the pip plop. Mmm, yes. Well, since there is now a witness, I gotta go. TT, why all? Besties? <laughs> Apologies, my friends. Parentheses. Giggles and smirks before walking off. Parentheses. Ice must depart as wills. Who? Did did he say that? Parentheses part out loud? Yeah. Um, he's a bit of a loon. Hold up, banger alert. Turn that shit up. Splendid! It appears I have bested thy in a duel of the Pokemans. Mom, I got my ass kicked. It's okay, sweetheart. Mommy is here for you. Wow, that really does fix all of my problems. Thanks, Mom. Yo, what's up, man? Tally ho, my good man. It is time we embark on our endeavors to catch the legendary Pokemon at the lake. Oh no, who's that? Cyrus is my name. Speed is my game. I will capture the Pokemons and do many, and I mean many, evils. He, he, he. Curious. Well, I gotta go visit the professor now. Thud! I must make haste. It's happy hour at Femboy Hooters. Hey, professor. Ah, uh, 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 welcome. Your mom doesn't know you're here, right? The first nickname of the run. Let's start things off strong. I'm so glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, well, let's just say, parentheses, tilts head and smirks, parentheses, you wouldn't want to know. Okay, so the professor wants me to show you around town. Sick. Follow me. So where do I heal my Pokemon? I am glad you asked. This is the Pokemon Center. If you lose a trainer battle, you will return to the last one you visited. But you don't need to worry about that, right? Nope. 
Right? Nope, right? don't need to worry about it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Punk bitch. Ah. This is the ball store. They sell balls. Wow, this is now my new favorite store. Okay, that concludes our tour. Goodbye. Now that I have Pokeballs available, I can start to get my encounters. I catch a Wingle and I catch a Starly respectively, though I still need to get the old rod from Jubilife. I also need to say goodbye to my mom. Oh, honey, you should take my Eevee with you on your journey. It may help you finish off some bad guys. Yeah, that's a good idea, Mom. I, I Honestly, Eevee provides really good type coverage for a Nuzlocke. Plus, it's incredibly versatile with all of the evolution. Well, all we gotta do is do one more quick rival battle, and we can keep moving forward. Not much of a rival battle, as it takes about two seconds. Here, I catch a Hoot Hoot, and I press onwards to make my way towards Jubilife. Who the heck is that guy? Arg, my name is Looker, and I am in search of some booty. Have you kids seen any pirate treasures? Can't say I've seen any pirate treasures, bro, but you you know what? Here, I'll, I'll let you know if I see any, all right? A fine idea. There's nothing I crave more than booty, so please let me know if you find any. Farewell, travelers. While I need to talk to my rival in the trainer school to progress the story, I can instead talk to this NPC who will give me an egg. The egg doesn't take very long to hatch, and I end up with a Badoo. Pretty solid. I also finally get to talk to this fisherman who's going to give me the old rod, which will allow me to get several more encounters. First, next to this TM for water pulse, I go fishing here and I end up catching a star you. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Just south of Sand Gem Town, we get a horse. So messy. Can't forget to go fishing in the pond in Twinleaf where I get a Magikarp. <laughs> Fishy. Next, I can head north of Jubilife City for two more encounters. My first encounter is just a little buggy boy. And alongside the Expert Belt and Rock Tomb in this cave, I encounter a Geodude. Undisputed goat of the early game. Now, in a few of these early game Pokemon centers, you will notice the reporters in the top corner. If you answer their questions and beat them in a battle, you can obtain three of a previous generation's starters. Hello, trainer. Would you like to come? complete a quiz for a chance to win some Pokemon? Hell yeah. Okay, question one, is Pikachu an electric type Pokemon? Oh, fuck, I didn't study. Um, mm, can I, can I get a different question? No! <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, he's electric type. Hooray! Next question. Can you please recite for me the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Perfect! Yes! Okay, last question. Will you do the one block jump for the uncooked chicken or the one block vertical jump for the beef? Uh... What? Okay, let's battle, dumbass! If you're gonna call me a dumbass, at least come at me with something higher than a level 5. My reward is a gift Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, but I'm only gonna choose one of them. We got Bulbasaur, Char Booby, and of course, Kyle. It should go without saying that obviously the one that I am picking is Kyle. I can't forget the NPC in Jubilife that gives me the poke etch. Finally, I have unlocked the power of subliminal messaging. Oi, scrub, let us battle! This is the first like actual rival fight of the game, but it's not that difficult just because of the level cap and where we are in terms of the story. In this case, leading with a Starly is gonna be no match for my Geodude. After missing a rock throw on the previous turn, I get growled by Starly, but even then it still just dies. So this fight's supposed to be easy if you just actually remember to bring a grass type to the battle, uh, but because I am stupid, I have to play the switching game. Eventually though, I end up with my Hoot Hoot out who gets hit by a water pulse, and though he gets confused, he's still gonna land a hypnosis. All we gotta do is just bring in the buggy boy and finish him off with a poison fang. Thankfully, the Munchlax in the back has nothing that it can really do to touch my Geodude, hence why earlier I mentioned that this guy is the undisputed goat of the early game. Rapscallion! My reward for winning that trainer battle is another encounter. This time, I just get a Spearow. I'm running out of creative ideas, man. The encounters so far kind of suck. Okay, like, Wingle is trash, but also, why? I, I don't need two birds, man. Gay Bowser evolves, and we're finally an Aura Bird. And there are still so many encounters that we have to get. First up, the Don. But now we gotta get three more starters. Hey, you. I have some harder questions for you this time. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've played this game before. I already know the answers. Perfect. Question one is, what is my favorite color? Fuck. Um, uh, blue. Wrong. Damn it. Would you like to try again? No, but I have to. Correct. Wait, was that a question? Next question. Can you please calculate the Thevenin whoa, equivalent oh, voltage whoa, and oh, resistance for this circuit? Wait, wait, pause, 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 pause. What's the Time matter, out. big boy?
Can we just, like, not... Use that college degree of yours. Lock the fuck in. Look, pl please, just another question. I can't do this right now. I'm starting to see why women don't talk to you. Dame la lechuga, el pollo, y mi amigo Juan. That's right, guys. I had Qdoba for dinner. Pero lo siento. Adios, Juan. Necesito la lechuga. Oh, hey, Steven. Steven here. Hello, I am Steven. Hello, Steven. Here's a free beldum. Thanks, Steven. Oinky doinky, my slime. Oinky doinky, my slime. You're playing Minecraft in a cave looking for diamonds. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. Oh, I found one. Hey, kid, check this out. Cablamo. That's what I'm gonna do to your balls once I beat you in a battle. Rourke is nice enough to give us an evolution stone before we go do the gym battle. And, you know, I could do a typical Umbreon or, you know, I could save the stone for later. Uh, I wanna be based, so I'm gonna go with the ice stone. I think I'm the first person ever when faced with that choice to pick Glaceon over anything else. But we'll talk about that more later. It's gym time. Rourke's gym requires a lot of strategy and planning to get through his trainers. Now, luckily for me, I'm actually good at this game unlike you guys so i handled this pretty easily uh greetings challenger here to get your balls exploded i see we'll see about that you scum your balls will be mine oh yeah come and take them yeah, so sorry guys, I got a little excited and I went for a bulldoze first turn. My mistake. Let me just... Okay, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, so that is what I meant by early game carry. Splendid. Thud. Yo, what's up, penis? What is good, my slime? Just got my gym badge. Uh, I'm gonna head north of Jubilive up to Floroma Town. What about you? I'm heading to Eterna City, as that is where my weed dealer resides. Oh, shit. Uh, you wanna grab me some and put it on hold? I'll pay you when I get there. Of course, friend. But I am off. I must go smoke some grass and eat some ass. Like I said, let's head back to Jubilife. Arg, hath thou found any booty? Not yet, but I heard Floroma Town has some fine ass women up there. Arg, that is arg, not the best arg. News for my arg ears. I will continue my search elsewhere. Arg! <laughs> I kind of forgot that there's a bunch of other apps other than the one that allows me to ask for your credit card information. Nice. Wait a sec, the memories are flowing back. Give me, give me just one minute. Okay, now we can continue. Hold right there, old man. You are weak and I am strong. Though admittedly not as strong as Saturo Gojo. But still, I will beat your cheeks. Hey, all, can you beat this guy's ass for me? Yeah, let me take care of this. Purple. Good job, Pookie Bear. Don't call me that. Okay, 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 sorry. I thought, uh... Never mind. I am also part of this conversation. When is your 18th birthday again? Bro, I am 10. Close enough. TTYL, bestie. Uh, who are you? July 17th, 2027. Count your days. W was that a threat? I don't know about you guys, but I am not looking forward to July 17th. But we made it to Floroma Town. Oh, fuck. Hello, quiz woman. I don't want to talk to you. Are you allowed to do that? Isn't it your job to hand out these Pokemon? Uh, you bastard. Okay. Question one. Solve this math problem and please show your work. Okay. A double integral is easy. Um, okay. Uh, integrate with respect to Y so we can factor out the X. And so now we just have to integrate uh, 1 over Y squared through the boundaries of 6 to 4. Okay. Once you integrate Y, it turns into uh, negative 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. And you multiply the sum of those two fractions times the integration of X with the respect of the boundaries of 2 to 1. Okay. So we integrate X. Uh, the integral of just X is going to be X squared over 2. Minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 is going to simplify down to 1 over 12 and substituting in the boundary values for the integration of x is going to come down to 2 minus 1 over 2. Simplify that down to 3 over 24, but your final answer is 1 over 8. Holy shit, lol, you fucking nerd. What do you want from me? I think you guys already know which uh, Johto starter I'm picking. You can't come in. Go away. 
I will admit, when I was 12 years old, uh, it took me a while to figure out that I had to come back here to progress the story. Just one quick and easy grunt battle later, and now I can get into Valley Wind Works. Hello there! If you have the money, I will provide thee some honey. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Because honey trees are instantaneous in this ROM, I decided that for my next few encounters, I'm just gonna hit the honey trees because, who knows, maybe later down the road, it might come in handy. Behind Floroma Town, we get the Execute. Heading up Route 205, we get a Burmy. And at the Valley Wind Works, we get a Caterpie. Absolutely absolutely fantastic encounters. Let's commit a crime and break into this house. Okay, this 10 year old is incredibly threatening. I must fall back. Hey buddy, can you just, can you just look the other way for a sec? Just one sec, real quick. Okay, thanks. I will foil your evil plans. I don't care that you're 10 years old or that you are a girl. Equal rights means equal fights, bitch. So come catch these hands. All right, everyone knows this fight. We got to figure out a way to deal with this Perugly. That's coming later in the fight because first we got to send out our Geodude to take care of the Zubat. Zubat outspeeds and goes for a Toxic, but I just as easily take him out with a Rock Tomb. Anticipating a Gyro Ball, I swap over to Gyarados, but instead he just tanks an extra Sensory. Two bites and a flinch is enough to take out the Bronzor. Gay Bowser is going to come in and tank this fake out, but it does quite a bit. A facade from Perugly is going to hurt, but I have Monkey here just to hit them with a low kick. Perugly heals back up with a Citrus Berry, but Gyarados is going to come in, hit the Perugly with an Intimidate, and eat the facade. A back and forth ensues with Perugly's facades and Gyarados's bites. However, Gyarados does come out on top. Last is this damn Yanma, so I swap into Geodude to tank the Air Cutter. Even though I resist it, my special defense is trash. This Yanma does have speed boost though, so I have to pray that my Geodude does not die here. <sighs> okay, it was gonna happen eventually. At least my Glaceon gets to shine. Chomp. Damn! I really got my ass beat by a literal child. Let's skedaddle! As much as I would like to rejoice in reuniting this scientist with his daughter, um, I have something else I have to do. Uh, it appears you have beaten me to this house. Did you find any booty? Sorry, man, I couldn't find any, but you're more than welcome to go inside and check for yourself. Don't mind if I do. There be no booty in this house. Arg, arg, arg. I'm literally crying and pissing and shitting myself, bro. I'm gonna miss this Geodude. As for that uh, punishment that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, well, I can't progress my game until I do it. Uh, so I guess we'll find out next video. Bye!